Hi, Lighty. Hi, Linda. So here we are back at Old Frog Pond Farm in a different season. I came down to pick up our conversation again. And I just want to acknowledge how much fun it's been that in the middle of the winter, we got together and decided to just get together and talk and see what would happen. And it feels like it's growing. And when we talked earlier, we decided to move from pruning, which was our last theme, to um, creativity, which, um, as I see it, is pruning creates space. And now we're looking at how we want to fill that. How do we fill that space? So that's our theme for today. Linda, you have landed this incredible sculpture that is now going to be in this in this exhibition and it's going to be here permanently. It's the old frog now has a place <laughs> in Old Frog Pond Farm. So we're going to talk about creativity and I also really want to hear about your process of creating that sculpture. Splash. Splash is the name mm -hmm. of the sculpture. A large frog that um, is on a post in the middle of the pond that took um, 22 years. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have guessed? I wasn't consciously thinking, oh, I really want to make a frog. I wasn't thinking at all. I did see the post, and there was a space on the post. And I right. thought that is a wonderful, special place for a sculpture. But it took a long time. So the significance of the frog is that this is Old Frog Pond Farm. I named it when I arrived in 2001. And I named it after a Japanese haiku. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Probably the most well-known haiku in the world. Um, by a haiku master, Basho, and the poem is Old Pond, Frog Jumps, Sound of Water. Mm. And it's also translated sometimes, Splash of Water. And that's what art does, mm. I think, has that potential of holding so much and something different or a little bit different for each person yep. who sees it. Yeah, and also the conversation that's now going on between sculpture and poetry and, and sense of place and poetry and sculpture and the way that creativity is a conversation that's really ongoing and that we tap into that conversation and see what it is that wants to emerge. So in those 22 years, <laughs> I love that because so often people think they need to create something faster. And, and there's such an important element of, of uh, listening or sensing for what it is that wants to happen that, that takes time sometimes. So at, do you have, can you give me a sense of what the process was and when it started to be clear that, that this was a, a frog? It sounds simple, perhaps, and it was very easy. I saw, I did see a frog, not a particularly interesting frog, like a frog, this was in North Carolina, who was standing up, um, like near a brewery or something. I mean, just, I can picture it, but it was kind yeah. of a sheet metal frog. Mm -hmm. And I did, I saw it. And I remember thinking, the farm needs a frog. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm gonna make a frog. Mm -hmm. 
And I had never thought of that before. And obviously I've seen other frogs in yeah. 22 years. Right. And I've seen frogs because we do have a lot of frogs here. Yeah. But yeah, you don't know when that's gonna kind of hit you. Yeah. And um, patience, I think that's a really important part of the creative process. Mm -hmm. That yeah, you, you maybe want to get it done or you want to figure it out, but you can't just figure it out yeah. like it's a process the other thing that intrigues me about this piece is that this the base for this piece happened first yeah it was waiting it was there already i mean yeah it was there and i knew from day one here that it was the perfect place for a sculpture mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. usually the base comes later right no it it, it was really just great. um waiting there and then i think i wasn't ready like it is when you see it it encompasses so much of what this place is about mm -hmm. somehow it does mm -hmm. through its texture it's very pointy and kind of long nailed feet and yeah. long legs and um, uh, and yet also prayerful hands. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a little outrageous and yet it's quiet and it does somehow embody like this place. Mm -hmm. And I wouldn't have been able to do that. Like if I had just said, oh, I want to make a frog um, years ago, I probably would have just like, okay, I need to look, what does a frog look like? Right. So you would and have try been to do it from the outside. The yeah. Right. Yeah. Instead of really having that outer and inner and external and internal in balance. Mm -hmm. Like you want both, I think. Yeah. The, the great fear would be that I would make it and like the legs would be too close together and they wouldn't fit over it. So mm -hmm. sculpture, unlike um, painting, for example, like it has to work in the physical world. It has to balance. It has to be able to stand up. Yeah. Those legs, they needed to be hanged down. I wanted them hanging down, but they had to be wide enough. And he had to balance on there ni nicely. And I'm making this all in wax. Mm -hmm. So then the feet fall off or the leg falls off. And there's a lot of that. And I'm like running around grabbing like some cans or things to like prop, prop up that up. foot so that it doesn't break off. And <laughs> then, you know, you need to measure and you want the feet to kind of relate to each other. Like <laughs> you don't want the hip to be forward on one side and back on the other and yeah. you know sculpture has to work from all directions and that's that's such a charming part of that installation is that you see it from the side you then can walk over the little bridge and see straight on yeah. and then you really see the the feet out there and the reflection of the water and then you can go around to the other side I keep experimenting and that's that's part of it is that experimenting and tweaking and turning and until it yeah. it clicks. It clicks. You say yes. Yeah. Yes. So what's the click like for you? I always know. Yeah. I do. And that's like patience, like you can't rush that click. Mm -hmm. Like it's right and then I trust it by leaving a piece hmm. for some time. And I will walk in the studio and I'll kind of glance and I'll look at it and I'll wave. <laughs> but yeah. it, I know then over time that it, it's settled. Like I have no urge in me to try anything else. Oh, nice, okay. So that's a sense of doneness, is that there's nothing left in you to tweak and change. Yeah. And so what happened is this frog is new, mm -hmm. but 
this frog is also really old. Yeah, <laughs> the poem told us, right? Well, I guess the yeah. pond is old, but well, the, the frog, frog is still old. You look at that frog and it it's pretty feels uh, old. Like that texture. It's timeless. Yeah. It's amazing how you really landed the sense of that mm, really beautifully. It's so wonderful to take this little time yeah. with you. Yeah, just to just to be together and talk about the stuff we love, yeah, right? Yeah. We made a little quietness right here. Yeah, for a little while. It's yeah. great. Yep. Thank you, Lighty. Thank you, Linda. Until next time. Yes.